so uh, lately I've been I've just had it on my heart to um, record a vlog about kindness because I think it's so important and um, I've been thinking about it but haven't gotten around to it and I just thought maybe I'll open up my Bible and see if I see anything that I could do a vlog about just to be a bit different and this is the scripture I opened up on so it's Matthew 25 um, I'm gonna start at 35 you can go and read the rest of it if you want a bit of context but it says for I was hungry and you fed me thirsty and you gave me a drink I was a stranger you invited me into your home I was naked and you gave me clothing thank goodness I was sick and you cared for me I was in prison and you visited me then these righteous ones will reply Lord when did we ever see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink or a stranger and show you hospitality or naked and give you clothing when did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you and the king will say I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. So this kind of confirms that this is probably something I should do. Um, I really feel strongly about kindness and not just um, not being mean to people, although that's very important because these days we live in a world full of keyboard warriors and judgmental people and kindness just seems to be something that's like slipping away. But I really think um, so much of us measure our worth or how much of a good person we are or even if we're a Christian we think what makes us a good Christian is just, um, I don't know, we can find it in all kinds of areas but I think kindness is a huge thing. So just how do we treat um, the waitresses? How do we treat people at the shops? Do we, Are we kind to people or are we too busy to stop and be nice to them? Or if we know someone who needs something, do we help them or do we just kind of think, oh, that's gonna inconvenience me or whatever and I don't know, but I just feel when I read that, like that we should see the face of Jesus on everyone who needs our help and people who don't even ask for it. I mean, I think there's so many more opportunities than we realize to be kind to people and we just kind of miss them because we're so busy or, our priorities are kind of out of whack and we kind of don't even see the need that's right in front of us so I just wanted to encourage you today take a look around um, I guarantee there's way more chances to be kind than what you think and if you need some examples I thought I'd put together a little list for you so here you guys So, first one, buy someone a coffee, whether it's a friend or even someone you don't know. Um, just try it. Maybe turn around in the line and say, hey, what are you getting? I'd like to pay for you. Some people might be a bit weirded out, but put your big boy pants or your big girl pants on and just embrace the awkwardness and see what happens because you could make somebody's day. Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of my friends have done it for me, not knowing that I actually was struggling to afford the coffee. So... It made a big difference to me, so I hope to do that for other people. Okay, something that my Nana does, my wonderful Nana Shirley does that I love, is she um, will buy a bunch of flowers sometimes and just ask God, she'll take them to church or something and ask God who to give them to and he'll tell her when she gets there and just make that person stay. And I don't know about you, but I love flowers, so I just think that is awesome. Love you, Nana. You're a treasure. Give a compliment. So when I worked at Macca's, proud to say I worked at McDonald's, um, I used to challenge myself and um, when I worked on drive through I'd try and give every single person a compliment. And it actually, I don't know why I just enjoyed it. I got a few weird looks when I told the other staff members, but it actually was really fun for me and almost a bit selfish because by the end of the shift, I felt amazing. And everyone's got something you can compliment them about. It feels like, oh, surely you can't think of something. You always can think of something because everyone has greatness in them. So I really loved it and it made me feel good and it made those people feel good and I just think that was awesome. Also with that one, a lot of people think, oh, I don't have any money, I can't be nice to people, I can't, you know, help anyone or I can't do anything for anyone. Words are free, free as a bird. And so the way I see it is that's no excuse for me to not do nice things for people because I can encourage anybody I want. So I plan to um, be frivolous with my words. Is that the word? I plan to be generous with my words. Just 
have a conversation. I feel like um, so often we go through life and we're out and we're busy and we just ignore people around us. And I believe that real richness comes from relationships and just interacting with people. And, um, you know, I had a cool conversation today in the mother's room at the shops with like three other mums. And I just walked away feeling awesome because we'd all just chatted and we were all polite and friendly and it didn't take a lot of effort. It was really enjoyable. And I just think uh, we can all have a conversation. So rather than just kind of ignoring people or, you know, if you've got an opportunity, just talk to someone because you don't really know what kind of darkness that person might be living in. And if you're the brightest part of their day, make it as bright as you can because I just think that's an awesome gift to give someone. <music> This is a big one for me. Be nice to people doing their jobs. Yes, they're getting paid. Yes, they might not be nice to you, but they're at work and we don't all love being at work. And for someone to just come along and treat us nicely at work is so refreshing because often people get treated very badly in their jobs um, by customers or whatever. You don't know if they've just been screamed at or you don't know why they might be a bit down in the dumps. Just be the one person who's going to walk right up to them and be like, hi, how are you today? You're doing a great job. Give them a compliment. I don't know. Just do something, but be nice to people who are working, which in the same kind of vein, clean up your table in the food court. Why not? I know people say, oh, well, they get paid to do it. I wouldn't mind if somebody came and did my job for me and I still got paid. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. For me, that's something I try and I try and do just because. Okay, so these are just a few random ideas in case you really can't think of a way to be nice to somebody or to be kind, but I'm sure you all can. But I just wanted to put it on your radar and just get people thinking in that way because I think we can change the world a little bit of kindness at a time. And I just want to encourage you guys just not to be too busy to be kind. Um, it'll make someone else's day it'll probably even make your day and I feel like that's what life is all about is a whole is just this earth full of people being nice to each other and I feel like that's what will make a difference so that's why I got it. oh my last one um if you can't go anywhere right now or you can't think of anything just pick someone in your phone and send them a really nice text something tell them something you love about them or appreciate just send them a text and just make their day because I guarantee they will love it I guarantee that they probably need it and yeah at the very least just if you're not going to meet new people just appreciate the ones you've got okay so go be kind no keyboard warriors let's not do it let's just be nice to one another okay bye